hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is jen and i love all things color today we're going to be talking about all things glam how to get glammed up super quick and super easily that's the topic for today two things you gotta look smashing and you have to smell divine and amazing so we're gonna be talking about fragrances first before we start this video is in collaboration with and partnership with dossier they sent me two fragrances they let me pick two fragrances from their website and this is the little box that came in there's also the other box i picked two fragrances Dossier is a fragrance brand. It is based in New York. Uh, the reason they started this brand is out of desire to make iconic premium fragrances accessible to everybody. So they send each, each of the uh, fragrance is sent with this little uh, card. And they also have a lot of information on their website as well. You would see something very interesting that each and every fragrance, they also sell candles, by the way. Each and every fragrance perfume is inspired by an iconic very very super popular cult following perfume the ones i picked out is actually woody sandalwood this is inspired by le labo santal 33 and the other scent i perfume uh sorry perfume picked out is ambery saffron this is uh by maison francis cook Gidan, Gian, sorry, and Bakara Rouge 540. So these are the two uh, perfumes that I picked up, and these Le Labo and Bakara Rouge are the two uh, iconic scents they these two were inspired from. So they're definitely that's the whole goal or the mission of Dossier to make premium fragrances accessible to everyone, and they're doing it they're doing a very 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 good job and i love how transparent they are they're very open about where their ingredients are being sourced from and also they are very open about the fact that they do not like markups it says so in the packaging itself you look at it iconic sense designer quality and no markups whatever reason uh, their expensive counterparts have a higher price tag maybe because of the brand name or uh, celebrity endorsements whatever it is they do not like markups their prices are very 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 reasonable take a look at their website you would be really really taken aback their prices are incredible guys and also they're very open about uh where their perfumes are being sourced from is from grass france i hope i'm saying the name right the, which is the perfume capital of the world and their perfumers include a very very high concentration levels compared to their counterparts which makes their perfumes and scents last longer so the one i picked out is woody sandalwood which is le labo santal inspired by le labo santal the concentration is 25 percent, which is also very transparent they also declare that and also ambery saffron which is the baccarat rouge inspired inspired one the concentration is 18 percent. it says so here and also on their website you can take a look and also the uh, it tells you what the notes are we'll quickly take a look at that so all in all very very good last but not least absolutely not the least because at this time the climate change and everything everything about the brand is in fact green you guys i'm very happy about this the packaging is recyclable and uh i love that this is magnetic and this is also a strong magnet look at that i love it it's such a clean cute little bottle i love that and uh the returns are also very very easy it tells you in the card how it returns and speaking of returns every product that's being returned perfume that's returned is actually donated to charity which also makes a brand sustainable and overall a definitely very green brand so all in all brand wise i'm very impressed by this dossier i love it um so let's quickly take a look at each perfume in detail and then let's get going. So the one I got is Ambery Saffron, which is inspired uh, by Baccarat Rouge 540. The concentration is 18%. Let me quickly tell you guys the notes. The top notes on this is Saffron, Orange Blossom. Middle notes is Jasmine, Plum, Cedarwood. Base notes are Oak Moss, Fir, Balsam, and Amber. So this is definitely a sweet and fruity scent. And uh, I love that it sprays really well. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you caught it, if you caught that spritz. But oh, it's like a very, it's, it's sweet 
and at the same time it's fruity and i have to say lasting power on both the perfumes are amazing amazing <laughs> and um as time goes by this sweeter scent stays on and it actually kind of increases the sweetness my children my kids loved the sweet scent me and my husband definitely I, I i actually like both but my husband and i definitely prefer the woodsy one it's more like calming naturey and yeah so the the next one is uh so we saw am ambery saffron the one is next one is woody sandalwood which is inspired by le labo santal 33 so let me quickly read oops let me quickly read you the notes on that the top notes is violet leaves cardamom Middle notes are Oris, Ambrox, Cedarwood, Cypriol. Base notes are Musk, Sandalwood, and Amber. So love that. And the scent on this is, let me quickly, I need a recap. I still smell the sweetness in the air. It's a really, really, really amazing perfume. You, uh, this is more of a, It's more of like a very calming, naturey scent. It's not too, too, mm, I wouldn't say this is very, very, there is musk, but it's like, it's like calming, I feel. It's very calming and it's like, it feels good. Right away, you don't like smell the sandalwood, but as time goes by, the sandalwood scent really comes out and you can really smell it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with both. Full disclosure, I have actually, I'm, I have my eye on Jado, um, Dior Jador. It's on the website. There's a perfume inspired by Dior Jador. Then there's one by Chloe Chloe. And then there's one by Jo Malone's uh, Sage, Wood Sage and Sea Salt, I think. I have already placed an order for all three. At this time, right now, there's like a sale going on because of the uh, Thanksgiving weekend. That's when I'm after the Thanksgiving weekend. I guess there's still a sale going on Cyber Monday and stuff. So I already placed an order for those three and I'm super excited for those three to get here so I can totally enjoy them. So fragrances really make a statement. So fragrances are a must. So let's move on to the beauty category now that we're finished with dossier. Um, so where should we start? I think we should start with lips. Uh, I have three products. One is the one I have on my lips. This is Chanel's um, Cheek Lip Balm. This is absolutely fantastic. You, I just use my fingers. This is the same I have on my cheeks as well. They are multi-used um, uh, product. And guess what? Usually the balmy kind of uh, blushes just wear off, but not this guy. She stains. Not like stain in a bad way, but look at this. I'm just like pressing my hand and it's still there. And I've done this like four or five times already just to get rid of the, you know, all the excess oil. <laughs> oil. And look at that. It, it's still there and doesn't look like makeup at all. It truly looks like my cheeks are flush and has some color in them. So I love them. And I usually put like a lip balm underneath and just take a little bit and dab it. Dab it and gives you this, such a stunning very youthful plump lip i love this one and if you're looking for something that's transfer proof matte i would always say uh, when it goes to when it comes to red like prefer matte just because it's easy maintenance and also like very different kind of statement look but even glossy is like very playful to be honest i would say glossy red is playful and a matte red is more sophisticated sexy like oh confidence you know uh, but I'm today I was feeling very playful, so I put on the uh, glossy one. But the NARS Power Matte Pigment is phenomenal. The formula is just like I'm telling you, if you haven't tried it, it's a must. It's a must. Go with Dragon Girl, to be honest. With such an amazing formula, you have to pick a dark, brighter lip. Otherwise, what's the point? You know, if it's, if you're just like gonna pick like a neutral color, it could be any other formula too. But this formula. It's made for red, bright lips. This is a beautiful siren red. Dragon Girl is just fantastic. I've used it a ton. I've used it a ton. And looks phenomenal. The tran It's transfer proof. It is transfer proof. But at the same time, it's easily removable as well. It's like 
best of both worlds if you're looking for a this is another very 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 bright red lip this is again a phenomenal formula this is lip bond by urban decay look at that it's bright so this is transfer proof as well but it's a it has a glossy finish so if you want a gloss and a transfer proof if you want to be playful but at the same time you want that lasting power urban decay is definitely there but you can't remove this one as easily as this uh, uh, the NARS Power Matte or NARS Power Matte. You can easily remove it. This one you definitely need uh, like a remover or something like that to take it off. So those are the three. If you're not very comfortable with it, just go with the nude lip gloss. I would say pick any lip gloss. I'm sure it's easy to find like a nude lip gloss or a, uh, like a clear lip gloss or like a gold lip gloss anything a glossy lip is another way to make a statement for you guys so yeah let's talk about eyes because i would say go to, there are two ways to go about it for eyes either go with like an ultra foil look like a chrome finish or go with the glittery today i went with the glittery one i actually doesn't really look too too rose gold but it's a rose gold this is um pat mcgrath's palette what is this called again I really wish she put the name on the palette because it's it's getting very hard to keep track so um i put the rose gold all over the lid and then i put this gold so let me just swatch that that's that rose gold sexy sexy much and then that's a the gold i put the gold in the center so that's why you don't like that you're, you're not getting that rose gold vibes because i like added that gold in the middle so it's but look at that you don't really see a lot of color but it's just glistening right let's just glistening rose gold is phenomenal glitter shadow you could go with rose gold or a bronze whatever but the only down the downside is you need to have an amazing formula if you want to go with the glitter eyeshadow pat mcgrath's these uh, blitz trans which is the baked uh gelé formula with ultra glitters um, so those are phenomenal, amazing formula. So you would have to know which brand is incredible at making these glittery shadows. Otherwise, they can really create a mess. But the easy way is go with the chrome shadow, like a chromey. Um, I love these Tarte's paint pots. Wait, yeah, paint pots, paint pots, chrome paint pot. Yeah, these are just melted metal. Look at that incredible these would really make a statement but you do not have to worry about glitter falling everywhere or anything like that i think if you will really want to make a statement go with a yellow yellow gold um i'm sure you can find them in a lot of brands you do, don't have to be it doesn't have to be tarts chrome paint pot because every i'm trying I've been trying to close this it still haven't been able to um every single brand has a yellow gold shadow and all of them are so well done so well done you don't you don't when it comes to this foil gold eyeshadows you do not have to look you do not have to hunt for them because literally every brand makes them and they're all well done to be honest so with these foil shadows they're going to give you that effect that very dimensional multi-dimensional effect but at the same time it's not gonna create a lot of fallout or anything you can kind of trust these foiled eyeshadows than the glitter eyeshadows that's some that's the only thing so i know eyeliner is a must when you put eyeshadow on but let's face it if you haven't practiced your eyeliner you're in trouble eyeliner can make a statement for sure today i don't have a big one i just have like a small tiny one but still i think it definitely makes a statement but it takes practice <laughs> there's no way around it you have to practice to get a sense sexy eyeliner on if you don't don't worry about it just uh, eyeliner really creates that uh, definition so definitely use an eyeliner but stop where the your eye ends don't have to take it further uh and also use a cajal too it really defines the eye but use a ton of mascara mascara using a lot of lot of coats of mascara or even false lashes i haven't on um you know practiced putting on falsy so i don't really gravitate towards it but mascara i would say go with three or four coats you need it you need it if you don't have an eyeliner a wing eyeliner sorry if you don't have a wing you eyeliner is a must 
you don't have a winged eyeliner tons and tons of mascara is a must it'll take care of everything it promise you it'll take care of everything it's gonna look beautiful and sexy so there's a little trick if you don't know and i don't really put on a lot of base makeup like a concealer or a foundation it's just not my style it's even if i have the most horrible pimple situation going on it's i just don't do it uh, I rely mostly on like tinted sunscreens than base. But if I really want to put on something, I really like the Merit Beauty's um, complexion stick. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it's called a complexion stick. So this is a uh, concealer and foundation in one. It is in and and the one that I have is in the shade Amber. It's a great, great, great shade match for me. And it is almost like a moisturizer, you guys. It's not thick at all. Look at that blend. And it gives you a beautiful coverage, incredibly lightweight. And yeah, that's the one I gravitate towards, to be honest. If I, if at all, I want to put on something. Now, I know that um, blushes are all the rage, but still, I, I never skip on glowy cheeks some little glow on the high points of the cheeks it's always gonna be there so i would say go with a glowy powder instead of a strictly speaking highlighter you know i'm i'm actually that's that's a, that's how i'm doing my makeup i'm always i'm nowadays leaning or leaning or depending on a glowy powder to give me that highlighted cheeks instead of a traditional strictly speaking just highlighter um because these work to be honest i'm not even lying today look look at how like highlighted and glowy ultra glowy those cheeks look it's because of this powder this is laura mercier's uh translucent setting powder this is not translucent it has a really 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 strong pigment to it this is in the this is a glow powder so this is pretty glowy believe me when i say it's pretty glowy and it's also very yellowy it's actually a neutral shade i would say it has red and yellow look at that tell me if this isn't a highlighter <laughs> this is what i have all over my face but it got really glowy so i i set my face with another glowy powder <laughs> you're thinking if it's glowy why add another glowy but this this powder is a must when i'm putting i think it's a must for everybody this is Hourglass's ambient lighting powder in the shade Radiant Light. This just pulls everything together and gives it airbrushed look. I promise you, you need this. They also have like in a travel size, which this is like $64, I think. The full one I have is $64. They also have a travel size, which is like definitely 22 23 something like that. Definitely give it a try. Definitely because this is a must. So I'm relying nowadays on a glowy powder to give me that look so this is the the laura mercier's one there's also the laura geller's uh baked original highlighter in french toast i know this looks white and you would be so underwhelmed when i swatch this for you but i promise you it does the job it does not look uh, dull or anything it brightens your skin and it does the job and it does not leave a white cast like the way it is now it just like blends in and so so good so these are the glowy powders i'm relying on right now and also another one i'm a, such a great fan of laura geller's powders they're all baked they're all made in italy so this is this is this call it a glow illuminating foundation but it's not not a lot of coverage to be honest uh so you can just i think depending on what kind of brush you use this could be like a multi-purpose it could be like a highlighter or you could use a big fluffy brush and all over glow whatever it is nowadays i'm just relying on like a glowy powder like i said and for cheeks i'm gonna vote this as the best blush of the year just because it's first of all multi-use i have this on my cheeks and my uh, sorry lips and my cheeks in addition to it, like I said in the beginning of the video, it stays put. Probably because this is a brighter color. I'm not sure how the lighter colors or like, like medium deep colors work on my complexion. If you have darker skin tones, go with the red. Just close your eyes and go with the red. 
because you can kind of alter it it kind of, my cheeks don't really look red right now it kind of looks bronzy with like a like a tone of red it looks flushed it's not red right so you can apply it in a very concentrated way to make it look red like rouge or you can like really spread it out i i have the blush all the way from here to here and it doesn't look odd at least in my eyes it doesn't look odd i'm very proud of how flushed the cheeks look so let's say go with the you know like a cream blush so i think we are done oh wait wait not yet last but certainly not the least this is something everybody or well not everybody a lot of people overlook and they don't even mention it which is your brow bone highlighter you have to it has to be there it has to be there guys um today the, the entire eye look is based on this palette the pat mcgrath palette i think wait the name just came to me bronze seduction so the name of the palette so uh, I would say for a brow bone highlighter, do not pick a glittery one or do not pick like a denser eyeshadow like this. This is not very, very glittery. This is very foil, but it's a very dense product. I would say go with like a sheerer, sheer eyeshadow. Look at that. Sheer eyeshadow and a satin finish. I promise you a satin finish is going to look, look at that. Look at how it's catching the light. A satin finish is going to catch the light incredibly. I have this exact shadow. I love this formula from Pat. She does it so, so well. It looks amazing on every single skin tone. The texture, how uh, sheer it is and how it's it has shine but no glitter. It's impeccable for, as a brow bone highlighter. I, this is the one I have in the inner corner. I usually go with... Start from here and take the shadow all the way. I use like a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I don't use like a precise brush for this. So I take a fluffy eyeshadow brush, a blender brush to be honest, and I take it all the way there. And I do like two layers and look at how it's catching the light. Even when I'm looking straight, you don't, you can't tell I'm wearing glitter eyeshadow, right? When I'm looking straight, but look at that. The brow bone highlighter is doing everything for you. It's doing all the work and it's sensational it's so sexy do not forget the brow bone highlighter and also do not forget your brows brows can make or break your face definitely do not ignore your brows as well i think that's all i know i think all of the things that i mentioned are all tiny tiny things very accessible it's not hard at all for you to find them in your makeup arsenal but they do make a hell a lot of difference and yep I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks to get glammed instantly and very, very easily. Let us know down below in the comment section. I would love to hear and also come say hi. And give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And also subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.